Welcome back to Steph's favorites. It has been a minute. So I'm bringing this one back because I feel like it's a really nice way to show you guys what I'm currently loving and um, today they're quite fun. I miss them. This one is going to be a little bit of a longer one because I haven't done it in quite some time. So we're going to just go through some of my favorite things, especially coming up to summer and then just some things that I use daily and love. Exhibit A. Less sawdust to me. You may or may not know. I love fizzy drinks. I love fizzy water. Anything that's fizzy, and I don't know why, but I can just drink it. I drink it so fast. Flat water, I really struggle to drink, even through a straw. And obviously, buying loads of plastic and stuff for sparkling water, it's not good for the environment. But this, this is very good. Something I made earlier. The water, which is from our Brito water, so it's filtered, do not fear. Paste it in. You want it really fizzy. This one's coming to its end a little bit, so it's not as aggressive as it is when it first starts, because there's a thing that goes in it and stuff. Yeah, that fizz, so good. I know fizzy water's not the best, blah, 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 blah. You've got to live a little, people. And then, you know, uh, Tesco's finest apple and blackcurrant squash, jam jar, jam jar, land. Then, this is literally what I do every single day. And then I get my squash. Americans, I love you dearly, but the fact that you don't have squash, I just, blows my mind but it's basically like a cordial concentrated and then you add water and your water tastes unreal but black currant and fizzy next level uh, so good so yeah i'm a sparkly water girl so it's so stream highly recommend highly oh. recommend for the reasons that i gave it's great and it's small as well we've got a, quite a small little kitchen we don't want anything big and it's you know saving the planet it's better for the environment love fizzy water so if you like fizzy water i really recommend the soda stream also robinson squash but if you're gonna get black currant i actually really love tesco finest you know so we're gonna go on to a more bougie purchase of mine so i actually got these last year in the sale in the winter because i was like my future self will thank me because these are so so cute they are milano blanc i don't know exactly how to say them super cute they've got lemons all over them i actually wore them to a wedding recently to my regret but i just wanted to, i was so excited to wear them but i have worn them once before and Actually, it was Alex. He spilled espresso martini. I've given them a little clean, but I do need to give them a little bit more of a clean and then just not wear them to weddings where people are absolutely hammered and have no idea what's going on. And they are really comfortable. So I wore them at the wedding before. Well, the ceremony was at two. We left at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had these on my feet for 11 hours and I was up dancing. <laughs> I really want to get so Jimmy Choo's, you know, um, I also love. They are gorgeous and also ultra, ultra comfortable, which you need in heels if you're going to wear them for a long period of time. So next up, we're going to go in with some skin. So this was sent to me very kindly. I'm very, very lucky I get sent things. If a brand says, can I send you something? I won't just accept, as in, that sounds really dickish as well, doesn't it? As in like, if I want something and I want to try it and genuinely use it because I love the look of the brands, their messaging, the dessert. These guys sent me their moisturizer and some other things. <sighs> when I tell you this cream, when I first put it on my face, I was like, oh my God, the smell. A rich older woman in like the sexiest, best way. It just smells like success. And I absolutely love how it is on the skin, hence why it is almost gone. If it would like to send me some more, I would be greatly appreciative. So I put on my, so this is what I put on first, which is another one of my favorites, you guys know Vici. This one, it's not even too expensive. I go through it so much because I put it on every single morning and every single night. I absolutely swear by it. Used it for, I think actually probably coming up to a year and a half, two years now. Insane. Just absolutely love, 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 love. So that's like a longer standing one that's been in my skincare routine for a while. Um, and then this is a newer moisturizer, which I just adore. My most favorite moisturizer I've used in so, so long. And as I think I've said before, I don't like to introduce loads of different moisturizers and skincare all at once due to the fact that if I have a breakout or something, I wouldn't know which one it is or if my skin then improves. I'm like, ah. That's what it is. Hormones, etc. You're always going to have like breakouts, stress, blah, 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 blah. And nutrition, you know, you can't just rely on a product to so have good skin. It has to be your whole holistic 
everything approach and obviously some people just genetics etc etc but this one i absolutely love actually i want to show you um another sunscreen so i'm terrible at using sunscreen in the uk if i'm being honest i next to never ever wear it in the uk but whenever i go abroad i am so on it strict i wear factor 50 all over my body I wear factor 50 on my face i'm very on it i actually use beachy factor 50 all over my body they have a really really lovely and then I'm using this new ultraviolet these guys this one is cream i oh, know she lies this one is the cream i don't know it just goes onto your skin so nicely it doesn't feel like clunky sunscreen i think that's why i never wear it in the uk because it's like oh it always feels so sticky and ugh. but i really really like that one so i'm gonna try and make an effort to use that more in the uk and then also they have a spray which i absolutely love i love a mess anything like that so you can just Give it one of them if you do your makeup and then one protection afterwards. Really recommend these guys for skin. And actually, one more whilst we're on skin. I'm sorry, this is such a rogue. My favourites. Fenty Skin Cleanser. I absolutely love. I feel like it really actually helps improve my skin. I actually use it as my second. Um, if I have makeup on, I'll use a, another cleanser first. Usually the LMS Balm. And then I'll use this one just to really get in and make sure I'm properly cleaning. And I really, really, really love it. Highly recommend that one as well. Now we've done with the skin. We're going to go on to... Let's go on to this one. Brewed Health Almond Drink. As you guys may or may not know, I absolutely love matcha. I have it every single morning and I always use this milk. And then I do tend to use the Clear Spring Matcha. But this milk with matcha makes it just taste so good. My friend actually sent me a video this morning, um, which made me think actually I'll put it in there. See? The fact that she has to pack it for a Hindu. I packed it to take Brighton to a Hindu so I can have it in the morning. It's just that good. I just look forward to it in the morning. I just want my matcha. Although I think I put up on my story once, people got really pressed because they're like, it's actually like not really low in calories. I was like, yeah, no shit. Well, I wasn't even looking at the calories it just tastes unreal it's actually like got the tiniest bit of almond yeah so spring water organic rice uh organic italian almonds one percent and then organic cold pressed sunflower oil and sea salt but it's just unreal like it tastes so if you're not a matcha lover i actually also when i went to brighton one of my friends ella she said never really like matcha never really like matcha and then i made her one and she went Oh my god, it's unreal. It is very dependent on how you make it and the milk you make it with. Otherwise, it kind of tastes a bit earthy and some matches are like a bit fishy, but the clear spring one is really good. We are going to move on now. Another bougie little uh, lumber. This is pretty, pretty special. Guys will know that I love Creed and I use their Princess Royal Oud more for like an everyday, honestly. Every time I wear it, I'm like, People always say to me, what is that smell? It's amazing. I went in there with Alex. The woman basically picked out a perfume for myself and then one for Alex as well. This is the Sublime Vanille. Let me tell you, it's really beautiful. And the packaging um, is actually, there is gold. When I run out, which I probably won't for years because I literally get one spray. This was gifted to me. Gilded with 10 carats gold i just love the brand creed it's my favorite favorite perfume brand i couldn't recommend it more if you're looking for like a really lovely timeless perfume it's just nice now that i have two i actually do also use the Giorgio armani pink one it's really 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 pretty and then we're gonna move on to a bit of makeup and lip so couldn't decide between jizu honey infused lip oil it's so nice this one i feel like if you actually had sore lips i would use it as well and it just it just gives such a beautiful gloss i highly enjoy it and then i say the refi one does give a bit more of like a glass look goes on really well over a lip liner or lipstick it doesn't like remove your um lipstick that you're wearing it just kind of like glasses over it and then this studio fix i would say is just one of my all-time favorite concealers i've worn this one i literally think for 10 years same with the matte face and body i always go back to it it's so good and i love it for summer no makeup on and then just your skincare a little bit of this under your eyes around your nose good to go it stays on so so well color match is perfect for me it's nc42 that i use so yeah just a really nice one for summer so highly highly recommend that 
Um, and then I just wanted to pull this one up. So this really lovely girl, basically, when I launched Sefi Silhouette, we did a bit of a gifting, um, you know how you do, you see that influence get received gifting, like more packages, etc. Basically got this girl, obviously paid her to create these vases. Um, she is called Harley Bridge Bridgester. And she basically created like 14 or 15, well, she was up to maybe 20 different vases. She gets vases, she reworks them, she glazes them and then paints bodies on them and I just thought it was so lovely because it went so well with obviously the silhouettes of the women on activewear and so that was kind of like in with the packaging then she also sent me one and I absolutely love it and she you can just tell she is one of those girls who is I just feel like she's got the loveliest heart I think so it's such a creep but she just seems so so lovely I absolutely love what she does I love her aesthetic I mean literally if I reach up here we have another naked being absolutely love her and yeah especially kind of coming to summer getting more flowers and then I'm just gonna finish on which I've actually got on me today this is the Tropic Whipped Body Velvet and it is so lovely it's creamy but then it comes out quite oily if you use this when you're still slightly damp it just spreads on so 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 nicely the icing on the self care cake oh it is it's kind of like foamy icing it's so so good it is quite a wet one so if you've got like a low off the shoulder top on and you want to like if you've got your neck out and you want to put a little bit on your neck or something it's really nice it gives you a really nice sheen or if you're kind of like naked around the house and you've got a bit of time to let it all soak in then this is the one it's not like put it on put clothes on kind of vibe that's everything for my favorites oh she likes this as well for summer so these shorts these Sefi shorts are like the perfect integration into for like for like especially for english weather and then also i'm gonna show you this because i've honestly been living in it this year it is the free people this jacket so cute teddy bear teddy bear Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. That's the one. Anyway, guys, um, that is officially the end of my favorites. Let me know what your favorite was out of everything that I showed you. Also, these lemon shoes, I think I got them on. I feel like they were on Farfetch when they did their Black Friday sale last year. So it's definitely, Farfetch is one of my favorite ones for Black Friday. So it's definitely worth having a look at the Black Friday sales for summer. Your future self will be thanking you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Ciao.